This show is kind of our love letter to LA. There wasn't a frame building in Los Angeles 54 years ago. There's this whole melting pot culture. It's beautiful weather and it's laid back. I love walking around and hearing multiple languages on a daily basis. The amount of creative people around you is so inspiring. The food we can get. <laughs> So the goal of LA Stories is to laugh and facepalm with it. There's always a little bit of pain in a real great love letter. There's a little bit of sorrow. I absolutely hate the traffic. Traffic. Obviously the traffic. I also hate the traffic. So I'm not going to say traffic. It is a bit crowded. It's expensive. The traffic. Traffic is bad. <laughs> It's silly, it's ridiculous. It begins to moonwalk in front of you, and not just once, but two separate passes back and forth, just in case you didn't see it the first time. It's a time capsule for living in LA. The national government kept us under close surveillance. Helix Collective is the chamber group that's willing to do anything. Chickens, don't waste it. Nothing is off the table with the Helix Collective. <laughs> We have had to develop skills that we did not learn in music school. Trump had the admonitions of parents, parsons, and professors. We drove faster than the road or the law allowed. A tremendous challenge to write something that was going to be spoken by the players. But his girl did not unlatch. Speaking and counting seems to be a different part of the brain because it's hard to do both at the same time. Well, I didn't. And by gum, I like to prose to death. The text and you have the music and they're sort of intertwining. Members of the Helix Collective are like really open to just get weird with it. Step, cross, step, and touch. They don't have an elitist approach about classical music. We want it to be fun. And see what we can get away with. <laughs> I think this gives a very real-time document of what it's like out here. Learn to leave the porch light on for yourself. These stereotypes of uh, Los Angeles being kind of a superficial city and it's anything but. Through their eyes I gained a, a new appreciation for LA. It's a really, really special program and I'm looking forward to sharing it with more people.